So Paige and Craig, this app is called FaceApp, and it's currently the number one free app in the iTunes store. Now, it seems innocent enough. All you have to do is take a selfie, and from there, you can add a filter that will either increase your age or decrease it. But I spoke with one cybersecurity expert here in our area, and he tells us this app isn't all fun and games. Let's try it. Oh, old? You want to try old? Yeah. Old. Oh, okay, I should say old. Oh, my God. <laughs> FaceApp has been downloaded more than 600,000 times on the iTunes store. You upload a photo, then can age yourself 40 years older or younger. Oh, okay. That's older. Wow. <laughs> what do you think? That is a change. But there's more to the app than just taking a selfie. You pretty much are giving away your photo to this company that developed it to put your face up on the cloud forever and also that they can actually own your face. The app's terms of use state that any photo uploaded can be used, altered, published, and more without compensating you, while the privacy policy says that they can share your cookie data with third-party advertisers. Cybersecurity expert Dale Thompson says this raises two major concerns. Being able to own your face and possibly access somebody's phone with face recognition. And then the other concern is um, creating a database that has all of our pictures in it and linking them to individuals. Despite there being some privacy concerns with this app, folks are still downloading and using it. Thompson says that once I do, there's nothing that can be done to protect their data. People like to see pictures of themselves, like to see pictures of their children, and so, and if it's something for free, they're gonna probably do it. Well, most people we spoke to anyway. I actually had a girlfriend send me a picture of it. Not a fan. Why? Uh, because it's creepy accurate. <clears throat> Thompson says the popularity of this app is a good reminder for everyone to make sure you double check those terms and conditions anytime you download an application. And Thompson added the thing that's getting most people with this app, specifically their privacy, is when they connect it to their social media profiles. We're reporting live in Bentonville tonight. I'm Jamie Weiss, 4029 News. Good.